Letters for jewels. Seven letters. Scrotum. 1991. John Parrot. 1985. Classic. Taylor Davis final. Dennis Taylor wins on the black. Longest crucible frame ever, 69 minutes. 1977. John Spencer. No. Ray... Raven! Raven! I was just about to say Raven! You're putting me off! How am I putting you off? Green mythology. I'm only reading the questions out. Green mythology, come on! <laughs> Sure, it was that one, the barman. Yeah, that one serving the drinks now. What a waste! Doesn't look queer. Well, he doesn't leave his handbag on the bar in case it gets wet. And you caught him with one of them proper queer fellas. Yeah. What were they doing? I don't know. I couldn't see properly. It was dark. Well, I think it's disgusting. Was he booming him? Do you mind? I've got a mouthful of nuts. Hey, that's probably what the barman said. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, come and join us. Hiya. You haven't nodded down yet? No, he's not coming down. Oh, everything OK? Not really. We had a bit of a row last night. But that'll be the heat. The heat and unlimited alcohol does strange things to people. Last year, Jacqueline punched me in the face after a game of gin rummy. <laughs> Accused me of cheating. Now, normally, she wouldn't say boo to a goose, would you? Oh, no. <laughs> you see, people do strange things on holiday. I bet you can't even remember what the argument was about, can you? Well... Now, you stay here and I'll go and get them. It's quiz night tonight and we need both of you on our team. What number are you? Uh, 22. OK, see you at lunchtime. Do you play rum, eh? Oh. No. No, I don't. Oh. Look, it's quiz night tonight. Mm. Just when we thought it couldn't get any better. First prize to be awarded by Benidorm's number one children's yeah. entertainer, Ronnie Herbert. <laughs> I haven't got done sunblock. Oh, that's okay, I'll get it. It's okay. I'm a first aider. I need that water, please. Thank you. You okay? Am I okay? I was smoking that. What do you think you're playing at? I'm sorry, I thought it was best to put it out. They don't grow on trees, you know. According to Troy, Bumped into the barman near the pool on his way up to the apartment. He asked Troy to help him move some crates or something, and then when he got behind the pool bar, the barman just jumped on him. Well, these things happen, don't they? Uh, no, they don't. Not until now. Listen, I don't know either of you very well, but I know a decent person when I see one, and you two lads are solid gold, both of you, which is more than you can say for that shifty sword. Come on, we need you on our team for the quiz tonight. I've, I've always said there's no such thing as a straight man. It just shows you. Absolutely. I've always been comfortable with my sexuality, but very in touch with my feminine side. Oh, yes. In the late 60s, I had an old drinking partner, Martin Lucky James, big lad, one of these bodybuilders. We used to go out in the lash, come back to his mum's in Gallahill, and Lucky would bugger me senseless. Great times. Next. From which country is Coffee Annan? Coffee Annan. Not a beverage. 
It's the secretary of... I know who he is. Come on, you know this one. Garner. What are you doing? I was just about to say Garner. Well, that's all right, then. What do you mean, that's all right? You're supposed to wait for me to tell you the answer. But you said you knew it. Oh, well, that's going to be great, then, isn't it? When they're reading out the answers tonight and I say, don't worry about the blank ones I left, because I actually did know them. I just couldn't be asked to fill them in. Well, I'm going to have a little sleep if you're going to be like this. Oh, brilliant. Well, don't worry about me. I said, don't worry about me. Lancashire pub quiz champion being beat by a load of dickheads because my mum wanted Alison Slane. I said, Unbelievable. Can we go to the beach? Mom, can we go to the beach? No, go and get an ice cream. Come on. What were it called? What? That stuff. Uh, seafood paella. That's it. Paella. That's what they eat here, isn't it? The Spanish. I wasn't too keen on all that shite on the top, were you? Eh. Uh. I don't usually mind prawns, but not when they're looking at you. That rice tasted a bit funny as well. Oh, she's there, my mother, talking to that posh woman. She's not that posh. She's had that same wraparound skirt on for three days in a row. I wonder what she's saying to her. I said, I wonder what she's saying to my mother. She's probably asking to come and sit with us because she's heard how scintillating the conversation is. You want to talk? You've not sat out all day. I'm on me holidays. I'm relaxing. <sighs> hey, have a look. That other queer fella's back now. Mm. He doesn't look happy, the fat one. He does not look happy. Mind you, you wouldn't do. No. Mind you, what does he expect? Look at that George Michael. He doesn't mind where he does it or who he's doing it with. He's nicer looking than George Michael, that barman. I mean how he is now, not when he was in Wham. Oh, for fuck's sake! I've read the same line on this page six times. What have you done that for? Because of you banging on! Oh, forget it. Where are you going? Toilet. Don't worry, if George Michael's in there, I'll be straight back out again. Believe me, you're better off without kids. Well, I'm not sure about that. I've got seven, all daughters. Not that you'd know. You never see sight and the sound of them. But your daughter brought you on holiday. She didn't bring me anywhere. I brought them on holiday. Oh, I see. Well, I think a daughter would be nice. Well, I'll get cracking if I were you. You're not exactly 21. Well, it's, it's not quite as simple as that. No, I. What's wrong with you? Not me. Sorry about that. I eventually found the bottle. It was empty. I had to go to the shop. Not bad, really. Eight euros. Well, I'm not surprised his firing blanks with shorts that tight. He wants to get himself a pair of them baggy ones they're all wearing. Get some air between his bits. Let him breathe. Well, it's been very nice talking to you. I best be off to see what my grandkids are up to. See you later. Where is everybody? Tell him Michael will play and he's gone to the toilet. Oh, I wish I could go. I've not been since Tuesday. What to the toilet? It's Friday. Don't need to tell me that. I've been counting the hours. Oh. My mother's not been to the toilet since Tuesday. Why, is there no smoking in there? Don't you think you should see the doctor? What, out here? You must be joking. They won't have any English doctors, not out here. 
I'll wait till I get home, see Dr Kundu. But Dr Kundu's from Pakistan. Oh, yeah, but his wife's from Rotherham. Ma'am? There's a quiz night on tonight. All right, lovely. No, but look, there's a prize if you win. Can we enter? What sort of prize? 100 euro, how much is that? Nearly 70 quid. Oh, my God. Dad, if we win, can we go to the beach? Please, can we? What do you want to go to the beach for? We've got everything here. It's all inclusive. It's like being in prison. I know, but if we all enter as a team and we win, can we please go to the beach? Christ, if us lot win a quiz, I'll take you to Disneyland and make up the money myself. <gasps> oh, my God, we're going to Disneyland. Hey, hey, calm yourself down, you. All right, if we win, we're off to the beach deal. Oh, my God! Excellent. Come on, let's go get a drink. What have you said that for? We've got as much chance of winning a quiz as my mother has of being classed anemic. Hey. I know. So when we don't win the quiz, that'll be an end to all the moaning about going to the beach. I thank you. Good evening, lads and lasses. Good evening. I said good evening, lads and lasses. Good evening. Where tonight it's quiz night! <laughs> and if you would like to ring my bell, I do take travellers' checks. <laughs> so if you'd like to sew yourselves out, get your pens and your papers ready, the quiz is about to start in two minutes' time. Thank you! <laughs> I said, are you concentrating? But it's not started yet. I know it's not started yet. It's me pretty much warm up. Well, your pudding's getting cold. Mother, please! Very good. I don't know what I fancy. Really, that's not the impression I got last night. Gavin, please. I was drunk and some dodgy Spanish waiter jumped me. And we should all be laughing about it. Oh, yes, it's hilarious. Well, at least it proves your theory there's no oh. such... Oh, my God. What? Oh, look, the cabaret's arrived. Methinks the lady does protest too much. Uh Glasses are. It's all right. I don't think that's going to be one of the questions. Are we going to do this quiz? I don't mind. Well, you never know. We might win. Look at the type of people here. I can't imagine the average score being very high. A bit like my sperm count. Right, eyes down, looking. And your first question for the quiz tonight is... Which fictional character lives at four Privet Drive, Little Windy? Oh, is that? Shut up. Oh, you're checking the piss. Oh, Dad! Shh. Is it John Prescott? Fictional character. Dad. What sort of question's that? People on holiday aren't going to know that. Chappy with a moustache. Um, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> what? It's Harry Potter. You sure? Yeah. Hey, bring it on. Who first had a hit with Whispering Grass? Oh, it's um, Abba. It's them off, um... It takes off what, Mum? No, it isn't. I'll tell you who it is. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Don something. Little tiny bloke. The Ink Spots. Do you mean the Munchkins? No, the, the Ink Spots. 1940 Whispering Grass. Some of your father's favourites. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Write it down. St. Winifred's School Choir. Oh, he's a genius. From which prehistoric...
historic period is the Diplodocus. I don't know. Oh, come on, you were bloody living there, weren't you? Oh, get off. <laughs> so easy. I think it's Jurassic. Uh, no, it's not Jurassic Park. Um, put down the land that time forgot. What was the first James Bond film? I know that one. It's Goldfinger. Doctor No in 1963. Oh, oh. Do you want to play yourself? Well, what do you want to ruin this for me? Who was Fanny Craddock? Did we do a whole movie with her? No, that was Fanny Nelson. Friend of Big Eric's, from the sauna. Oh, shit. She was a TV cook. I know, I know. And now everybody else knows. I didn't say it. We're trying to write in it. I didn't say it. I'm whispering. What was Elvis's middle name? Aaron. Aaron. Who said, I have nothing to declare but my genius? Now, if you don't get that, you're thick. That's Einstein. What's his name? Oscar Wilde. A bit controversial. Oscar Wilde. I can see him now. Oscar Wilde. Freddie Starr. That's it, put your pens and paper down and pass your paper to the waiters as they pass the tables. Thank you very much. And our answers to the questions were for question one, which fictional character lived at Fourth River Drive, Little Whinging? It was Harry Potter! Who said I had nothing to declare but my genius was Oscar Wilde? I'd like to thank Noreen for all the support over the years. I'd like to thank Noreen, my PA, for all the support over the years. Albert Einstein once said that. And what was Swahili for? No worries. It was a Kuna Matata. Where have you been? You've been gone ages. Toilet. We've been reading the answers out. Give me a formality. Now the bit you've all been waiting for. Oh, In on. third place on 27 points is the Pal family from Staffordshire. Oh, great. In second place with 29 points is Jeff Mulby, also known as the Oracle. Woo! Second. Second. Our winners of the quiz tonight on 30 points from Lancashire is the Garbies. No, 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 no. Miscounted! We both got 30 points! It's a tie! You had Whispering Grass as John Estelle and Windsor Davis. The answer is Ink Spot! They both had it with it! Huh? You've got it wrong! You made a mistake! Hey, hey lad! Just give it to me, I'll show you! Get off! Oh, give it to you! Hey, 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 Gordo, get off the stage! Get off me! Get off me! Nobody beats the Oracle! Get off the stage, fat boy. You lost. Just a me. You don't know everything, OK? Muevete, coño. Hey, hey! I might not know everything, but I know all about you! You've been shagging everyone! Him sat there! Yeah, you sat with Mr Blobby! 
Ev seçildi aldı. Lok! Eşyanı bulmayın ya! Yalak mıyız polis polis? Oh, listen, son, you got, you're going to have to calm down. You're going oh, to make it calm down. What are you doing there? I'm a little beaten, Lancashire, pub quiz champion. Thank you. <laughs> Pathetic. I'm tired. I want to lie down. Yes, well, sometimes I do. You're no want mother to a champion. I what you don't deserve me! I spend all my time to... Hope I'm adopted! Oh. We're going to the beach! Well, I don't know what the master of all pub landlords would make of that. Watch him in action as he's put in a spin by Aussie Shane Ward, David Coulthard, Abby Titmus and Mel C. All in Al Murray's happy hour tomorrow at 11. <laughs>